konnichiwa ne maiwa abubakar aminu a watashi wa nigeria karaki master ano a watashi wa siruka kok saiko a daga ku gaksedes um hello everyone my name is amina abubakar uh, i'm from nigeria uh, today uh, i'm a student at uh, st luke's international university here in tokyo japan uh, i'm a phd candidate under the sponsorship of max scholarship and uh, my research interest is uh, understanding differences in cancer outcomes among the population and uh, today i would like to introduce you some part of my research here in japan uh, I would like to introduce you to my research problem and the objective of my research. I will also try to introduce the method I'm using. I will try to be as much as uh, not technical for your general understanding. Uh, so, like I mentioned, my interest is cancer disparity. Uh, so, what is cancer? Uh, we all know uh, cancer is a cancer is a group of diseases that is characterized by abnormal growth of cells. Uh, cancer is a leading cause of death globally uh, in, in the world. Around 10 million deaths were reported in 2010 and about 378 deaths were reported in Japan. Uh, in Japan, cancer is the leading cause of death. About 27% of cancer deaths in 2022 is attributable to cancer. So how do we prevent cancer? It's a well-known fact that um, healthy lifestyle can help you uh, reduce your cancer risks. And then also, uh, one of the most effective ways of reducing cancer deaths is through early detection by cancer screening. Uh, however, we are all aware of the uh, pandemic. COVID-19 has affected so many parts of our life. And uh, one of these is it affected uh, health services worldwide, which include cancer screening. Uh, screening rates have declined everywhere in the world. Uh, in Japan particularly, it has been reported that about 10 to 30 percent reduction of cancer screening during the pandemic. So there have been a lot of concerns regarding the outcome or long term effect of uh, the pandemic on activities like health screening, like cancer screening, uh, because it's well known that large scale disasters have long term effect on cancer screening. Uh, for example, the Great East Japan earthquake in Fukushima affected cancer screening for almost three years. Particularly, breast cancer and collateral cancer have been reported. So this is the problem now. And uh, my research is trying to understand the cancer screening rates three years after the pandemic. That is 2021-2023. Uh, uh, I want to monitor the cancer screening rates and then identify social demographic profile of people that are affected or have less screening. And to provide evidence-based information to guide health policy. So the research question is how, how, how have cancer screening rates have changed uh, following three years of COVID-19 and what demographic factors have affected this, uh, influenced this change? Uh, I'll be using data from the Japan COVID-19 Society Internet Survey. This is a research by Japan government that is meant to understand the uh, impact of pandemic on the health, particularly health disparity. Uh, I'm looking at cancer screening participation and the profile of this participant. Uh, this research uh, is been approved by Research Ethic Committee uh, at Osaka International Cancer Institute. And uh, I will be looking at descriptive analysis of cancer screening rates. So I'm going to provide information on the annual screening rate since after the pandemic. And then I'm going to make an inference analysis on the sociodemographic factors that uh, contribute, uh, that how sociodemographic factors affect uh, cancer screening. For example, what age category are not taking cancer screening or what socioeconomic uh, people, uh, income status people have been affected by this. Uh, that's a brief or pitch of my research. Thank you very much for your time. I, I hope to inform you more about this in February.